It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Faith Simpson from the Northwestern Rangers and also Coach T Tasha Dieselhorse, the head women's basketball coach there. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit. I really appreciate that. And I just want to get started, Faith, because I know it's it's been not only a, a big season, it's been a very big week coming into this week, but let's talk about the season as a whole. You're a senior. Uh, things are going well there in Alva. Talk about the season so far from your perspective. <laughs> Um, last year, you know, we didn't have the season we wanted and we took it, we took that a little personal this year. So I feel like this year we have a lot more leadership on the core. We got a lot more shooters. We got, I mean, we're just playing so well with each other right now. And it's just, it's a great experience and it's really fun to play with everybody and the great atmosphere we have here in uh, Alva. It's just, it's amazing all around. See, that's the fun thing when you talk about having fun. And and, and it's going to be a lot more fun when you're winning games, I know. But yeah, just what yeah. you bring to the table there, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, listen, I, I mentioned big week, so let's, let's not bury the lead anymore. Fantastic week. Conference Player of the Week in the Great American Conference and also the Division II National Player of the Week. You put up 44 points against your rival Southwestern. You're just doing a fantastic job. It was a big week last week. I know that was a big win as well. Talk about putting up 44, which, by the way, is a high so far for Division II this year. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was so fun playing at Sawasu. I mean, their crowd was in it, and it was just, it was just so fun, like, playing with the girls. Like, I didn't even know I had 44 points. <laughs> like, I was just looking at the scoreboard, you know. I was just trying to win the game, you know. Like, it was just – it was great. It was a great experience and a great crowd, and I'm just glad we came out with the win. Well, it's it's been a big season. You're averaging close to a double-double right now, and, and um, it, it's more than just scoring points. Obviously, putting up a, a big number like that, even if you're not following and don't find out till later, um, mm -hmm. and that's one of those things I, I know you'll remember throughout your life, but it's, it's more than just that. Like I said, averaging near a double-double there, you bring down the boards as well. Talk about your game as a whole. Um, I know it's more than just scoring. Like, I know I got to go in there and I got to rebound the ball. I got I to gotta play defense. I got to move my feet, you know. I got to talk. I got to be a leader on the court. Like, it's definitely a lot more than just scoring. Even if when I'm not scoring, like, I'm looking for my, my guards on the outside to hit their shots and, you know, my post players on in the inside. Like, I just feel like we all play well together. Like, we all are learning your strengths. We're all learning our weaknesses. Like, it's it's great. And, like, when I'm on the bench, I know I still got to be, you know, a leader and I got to be the best cheerleader I can be to, like, help them have the confidence they need. So I'm sure you're a great cheerleader. I'm going to watch oh, yeah. for that the next time you play. So that that's cool. Coach, let me bring you in here really quickly. Uh, obviously, it's been a, a good season and we talked about that from the outset. But you all are, are a ranked team as well. The Great American Conference has some pretty good teams up there in the, the top half of the women's basketball standings. You all number 23 in the country. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, I think it's great for our conference to have three teams that are, are ranked nationally and, and ranked high in the region. And, and you love to see our conference getting that recognition because I feel like we play in one of the toughest conferences there is. Um, so every night's a challenge. It doesn't matter who it is or where you're playing. Um, so it's great to see us have three teams. And, and for us, that's something we've kind of worked towards as, as a program. Last year, we would receive votes and re regional rankings or kind of be on the outside looking in. And, and this year to, I told the girls the other day to, to be ranked pretty much November into February um, is a huge accomplishment. Uh, it takes a lot to get there. And then to try to stay there is something that we talk about and I'm just really proud of kind of where this group has taken this program. We're speaking now with Faith Simpson and Tasha Dieselhorse from Northwestern. And the Rangers are, again, having a great season, a ranked team right now. Coach, as I mentioned, Faith, and had a chance to visit with her a little bit earlier, I'd love to hear your perspective on her play this season because, obviously, it's it's going to and has gone to another level. And, and I think the team as a whole has benefited. Oh, for sure. You know, from, from last year, from Faith's first year last year, I think learning our system, you know, learning me, us getting comfortable with each other and, and kind of figuring out what I wanted and, and where we wanted her in our system. You know, she's done a great job of developing her game. You know, she's developed her post game. Um, she's so athletic, but things that people don't see is, is her passing and her hands are so good. She's able to catch about anything that the guards can throw, throw up to her. 
Um, she's really worked on her free throws. Uh, she gets fouled a lot. And last year, her free throw percentage was was not the best. But this year, it's an area of her game that she's really focused on. So she's she's grown so much uh, as a player, as a person from last year to this year. And just to see her have success um, has been great. Um, and like I said, she she plays so well with the ones around them. Our group this year is just really fun to watch because of how well they connect on the floor and whether we're throwing it into her all game or she's kicking it out to our guards, um, they've just kind of fa- found a way to click together. Coach, you mentioned some of the other players that, that surround her, and obviously five on the court at any point in time. That's the rules. That's you know <laughs> the way, that way it breaks down. But that having been said, you often have, and I, I think it's, it's been a hallmark, I, I would say, of the Rangers under your leadership, to have an active group out there. Tell us a little bit more about, about some of some of the other players as well. Yeah, I think we have, uh, we're, we're as deep as we've ever been since I've been here, as far as how many we're rotating in, we can play anywhere from 10 to 12 uh, girls in a night. And, and that's with post players that come in when our, when faith is in foul trouble or faith needs a break, we've got two solid uh, post players on the bench that can come in and give her minutes and then guard play we feel like we're really deep in that position too so it's kind of one of those when someone's having an off night we don't have to panic because we know we've got other girls that are ready to step up and if you look at box scores and you look at games that we've played that's kind of how it's been and and we still feel like we we haven't had a night where everyone's clicked all at once. And so we're, we're saving that for March. <laughs> that, that, listen, that sounds good. And that's, that's what I wanted to ask as well. The month of January is winding down just hours away and we're heading toward February now pushing toward a postseason. I would say very, very likely postseason in the great American conference tournament, as well as the possibility, which just increases more and more to make it to the national tournament as well. Talk about your push toward the month of March, as you mentioned just there? I think it's just one game at a time. You know, you hear coaches say that a lot, but for us it really is just each week kind of what are we preparing for. And and that's the thing. We've, we've accomplished a lot up to this point, but we still feel like that we can get better and we still feel like we have better basketball to play. So our goal is not to be where we are right now. We hope in the next month that we've grown and with our schedule, we've got some great games coming up that are going to, that are going to make us better, whether we win or lose. So uh, we're just looking forward to those opportunities. And then hopefully when postseason play gets here, uh, we've grown and we're ready to play our best basketball. All right. Coach Tasha Deesholhorst from the Northwestern Rangers and the not only Great American Conference, but Division II National Player of the Week, Faith Simpson, with us here on the Summit today. Thank you so much for taking time with us here. We look forward to getting to see you as the season goes on, and success to you along the way. We're going to follow. Sounds good. Thank Thank you, you, Jerry.